This is the Grizzly Spit Portable Campfire Rotisserie. I'm gonna integrate it into my new smoker. Both of the stakes as advertised. This one has the bracket. Some sort of a cover. And the little motor with the on-off switch. Place for the 2D batteries and the two chicken spits. They seem to be just about right. Lastly, and probably most important, is the spit itself. So I'll probably install this in the next day or so. And it seems like it all is exactly what it said it was going to be. I'm a little worried. I thought this might have an auxiliary plug that you could use, but it's it's all battery. So I'm curious to see how long it'll actually last. I'm on a winter camp out and we're gonna use this for the first time. So we've got it set up with some fork coin. And we'll see. I'm going to build the fire up underneath it and it should be okay. We had to make a few minor adjustments. This heat shield, this is getting really hot. So it's just tin foil. It's nothing big, but now you can just lay raw hands on this because everything else is pretty hot. Uh, those were spinning over there, so we had to put a stick in them and squish them together a little bit harder. But I think that it's going to go okay. We put them on at about 240, so we'll see how long they take. This is after about an hour and 10 minutes. Uh, 3 and 120 basically on the little chunks and this chunk. We'll check the tail. I want to be careful not to get in too close to the bar with my thermometer. Battery seems to be holding up just fine. It's only been an hour. Just about the same tip. So right at an hour and a half, we took them off. They said they were a little uh, more than I wanted. It was supposed to be 145. We ended up going right about 160, and they are absolutely fantastic. Uh, both the small pieces and the large pieces are just delicious, but this whole loin is fantastic. I couldn't ask for a better, for a better uh, result. I'm super happy. Craig Johnson just made me a patty melt. He is the man. Rock? Good shit. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs>